So today we're going to be doing some twists in my hair and that takes me about all day So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my hair and to prep my hair. I'm going to be using my Rev Air I always use my Rev Air to prepare my hair usually for braids It's like a blow dryer, but it straightens my hair out a little bit more and it just makes it a lot easier Trying to figure out, I cannot remember how this thing is really used. I'm going to separate my hair in half, and then I'm gonna separate this half into another half. Curly hair just doesn't brush easily without a little bit of water. I'm just so amazed by how much my hair has grown and how much hair I literally have. I don't know, when my hair is curly, it just doesn't seem like I have much hair until I look at it like this and I'm like, what the f This is a lot of freaking hair. I would actually wear my hair like this. I feel like this is actually kind of cute. I don't know, in like a retro type of way. Like, no, no. As much as I'd like to stare at how long my hair is, we've got more stuff to get done. Y'all are gonna think I'm weird for this, but I'm doing my hair in my kitchen. I promise I'll clean and sanitize and vacuum and everything after, but this is literally the only space with like a huge table to lay the hair on, a place where I can set up like both of my mirrors properly. Yeah, I'm doing my hair in my kitchen. Here's the way that I have everything currently set up in my kitchen. I have this little three-way mirror right here and everything obviously is on the table. Come around. Here is my other mirror right here. Obviously I have a ring light because this gives me like the best lighting when I do my hair. Also my mirror Mirror is like DIY setup hanging on my other mirror. Don't talk about it. And then over here, I have this other little mirror. That's not a mirror, I meant light. Usually when I'm doing my hair, I will just like watch a YouTube video on my phone, or not a YouTube video, I'm sorry. I'll binge watch like an entire series because it takes me hours. I used to watch Love Island when I did my hair, but I'm kind of over my Love Island phase at the moment. So I'm trying to think what I should watch. Okay, yeah, I'll watch this show. And also let me show you everything that I got to do my hair. Now I want some really long twists, but I feel like this hair may be a little too long. Um, we'll see. I got Cuban twist hair. This is my first time ever working with Cuban twist hair, so we will see. This is the mousse that I use. Shine and Jam, my fave. Even though it does have me feeling a little greasy, a little oily after. Some rubber bands just in case. Clips just in case. I'll probably end up using those. A very dirty rat tail comb and a crochet hook because I suck at braiding and I'm gonna try a crochet method. Method. But right now I'm just starting on parts, which is literally the hardest part. Sometimes this takes me three hours just to get the part and then the rest of the hair kind of goes by pretty fast. I'm not good at parting my own hair. Okay, while I do my hair, I'm also gonna kind of like partially film me doing it on my phone for a TikTok. It is 1.30 and I'm pretty sure I started around 11 and I just finished the parts. So now I can actually start the hair process. So that's how freaking long it takes to just do the parts. My parts are looking kind of crazy, but I'm hoping with this hairstyle, the parts aren't gonna matter as much, but we'll see closer towards the end. I'll check back in. I got the Cuban twist and I've never worked with this hair before, but we'll see how it turns out. the hair turned out it literally took me like two days well i woke up this morning and i finished up pretty quickly oh my gosh the house is so cold right now but i just love having my hair done because it makes it so much easier when like i'm going somewhere i don't have to brush my hair before i go when i'm doing like videos and content i don't have to worry about like how my hair looks i am most stressed out when i don't have like a hairstyle or my hair's not done and i'm like oh what am i gonna do this hair is pretty long and pretty like thick to work with also i'm not gonna show you the back because the back is none of my business. 
<laughs> literally like the back is always a mess especially when I do my own parts but luckily I can't see the back from the front so that's like I said not my issue besties it's literally 2024 what are you doing my goal for this new year is to continue prioritizing my health learning and getting more familiar with my body and what she needs that being said I'm so happy to be partnering with care of for today's video care of takes away all the complication and confusion that goes into shopping for vitamins I've been using care of for a while now and I think my favorite vitamin lately is probably my keratin because my hair has been growing like she's been getting long I have inches now as y'all can tell in this video and I feel like all of that is due to taking my keratin. Care of makes it super easy to get matched with what vitamins you need. All you have to do is take a really short quiz. I think it takes about five minutes and they match you with the vitamins that you need. And my favorite thing about Care of, because y'all know I'm a little bit of a lazy girly sometimes, they deliver directly to your doorstep. You don't have to leave your house. They also come in these cute little custom packs. It's a new year and if you're not already, you need to be taking vitamins. So click the link in my description, take the quiz and then use my code Sierra and for 50% off your first order and again thank you so much care of for partnering with me on today's video now prioritize your health go take your vitamins and have a good day today i honestly wish i was more productive than i have been i've just been eating like microwavable food all day i mean at least it's not fast food yeah it has not been the greatest i ended up streaming earlier which i really enjoy playing like video games and talking to people so you know i'm not gonna beat myself up too much about that but sometimes i do get in my head i'm like oh my god i can't stream all the time i want to be a productive queen but sometimes wanting to be lazy holds me back um my house is still a hot mess i managed to clean up some of the um mess that i made when doing my hair also if you have something to say about me doing my hair in my kitchen i don't care fuck you i'm kidding i've been binge watching the show big little lies with <sighs> reese weatherspoon all these other famous people that i can't think of their name but that show has been pretty good that's what i watched the whole time while doing my hair and now i'm on season two so that tells you how long i was doing my hair for but one thing before the new year starts i really 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 want to do declutter like i want to become low-key a minimalist which i know i'm never going to be a minimalist List. that's just not who I am but a girl can dream and I'm gonna fake it until I make it I'm gonna get rid of like a bunch of stuff like I just love watching those minimalist YouTube videos I totally agree when they say like your environment clear mind like me personally I gotta have a little bit of decor you see my little record I put that on recently by the way it's a record so I don't really care for the record anymore it's Melly Martinez and it, plus I'm pretty sure it got like scratched and it's broken or whatever I only use my record player for decor anyways yes I'm a poser but yeah, I have the record player. I have this little um, sign right here. My side table looks a little messy, but I just decorated everything to look really cute. My room is like a completely different vibe. I hung up these curtains and I literally, every time I look in here, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so happy. Well, I used to, but now my room is kind of messy, which is why I need to clean it so I can get back into my good positive mood. Also, I'm on the hunt for a rug for my bedroom. If anybody can give me any ideas of like an inexpensive kind of neutral rug, please let me know i want it to be a little soft for when we get out the bed we can fill it with our feet feeling so soft of course i left my battery at home but anyways i'm outside of panera and literally my battery is on like zero percent so it's probably about to die but i'm about to go do some editing and some work for social media you know my job youtube i've been loving editing at coffee shops lately like it's just been my thing well not coffee shops this is like a cafe but i've been loving editing at little places like this i did get some cleaning done this morning before the gym but not very much it was like a decent amount for me not to want to like pull my entire hair out but yeah i just had to get out of that environment so i decided to go to panera and get some work done So I finished a lot of my work in Panera. Um, I didn't finish everything that I had planned to, but now I kind of want to go shopping while I'm down here. I think I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. It's not like a TJ Maxx type of day because I've been super into like home de decor, not decor. And I kind of want to see what they got now that I have to take down my Christmas decorations. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I would want to go. I really want to go to Target, but I don't know if I feel like dealing with that. Sometimes the anxiety be saying no, that I can't go and do things that I want to do. So far, I really am liking how these twist came out um the parts in the back are none of my business that's what i keep telling myself obviously i wish i was a better parter but i did pretty good considering i'm not like a pro or anything at doing hair i don't need this no more i don't need to stay finna walk out that door mama stay 
matcha i've never added hazelnut syrup to matcha but i kind of heard like the scooters people talking about it i don't know if they were like saying that it was weird or something but i'm not like normally a matcha girl i just recently started drinking matcha it's good i hope they don't think i'm weird for putting hazelnut and matcha like is that not a normal thing i don't know last time i got mine from scooters they didn't blend it at all at the bottom so like the whole thing was really grassy and it was like not that great but now they blended it kind of properly i mean you can see a little bit at the bottom but it's not up in the drink i don't know why but lately i've just been obsessed with matcha it has a weird taste though like i don't know how to explain it but it's a little bit addicting but it's also kind of nasty anyways i'm about to get dressed in some comfy clo cozy clothes a lot of the stuff that i got while i was shopping was like decor stuff oh my god okay actually i should just do a haul right now i already got that stuff out of the car but the groceries i left those in the car because kevin is literally on his way home right now and i don't feel like getting everything out my feet were killing me because of those doc martens but i got like the stuff from tj maxx so and i did end up going to Publix. i didn't bring it in here because it was like huge but i got this like big round mirror to put on my entryway hopefully if things go as planned i'm able to install it during this video i just put up a new entryway um little table thingy i don't even know what to call it and i was like looking for some decor for it it's kind of tiny because i have a little tiny space but i'm trying to make do with what i have so i found this rug and when i tell you i've been seeing this this type of rug everywhere and it's going for like hundreds of dollars this one is more like a runner is that what you call it like a a long rug but it's a checkered print it's kind of like that wicker material so cute very like natural looking it has tassels at the end brand is urban 86 i've never heard of that brand but it sounds fancy and i got it for 19 dollars, which is like not bad at all especially for this type of rug like i've been seeing this type of rug everywhere and these things are expensive if you go on like etsy or stuff like that so best believe i got it not 100 percent sure where i'm gonna put it yet but i will definitely be finding a place i've been going crazy lately now that i'm allowed to have rugs i don't have to worry about like stormy peeing on them rest in peace stormy i love you but she would pee on all of my rugs so this is like the first time in my life that i've been able to like afford a rug and get a rug because like before we got her we were i was like 18 and i was like super broke so i never really had rugs and then we got stormy and then i definitely couldn't have rugs because she would pee on them i think something poked me in the arm oh my god so when i went to tj maxx they had like mushroom everything so many mushroom things and like i'm kind of getting out of my mushroom era but not fully i'm getting more out of my like funky mushroom like colorful mushroom era even though this is what i got and it's kind of colorful i'll show you in a minute they had like more natural mushroom type things and like for my decor style i'm kind of going for like boho i don't know if that's what you call it <laughs> but you know like i'll put some inspo photos on screen if i can of like stuff that i've really been liking on pinterest anyways i found this lamp it was on clearance for 16 dollars, and it's this mushroom lamp that i feel like you if you see this at target this would be expensive as fuck and it changes colors it's led like is that not so cool i got a bunch of mushroom stuff even though i said i'm trying to get out of the vibe of mushrooms but they also had out their valentine's day stuff and i got this i'm not gonna decorate specifically for valentine's day because i feel like that's a bit extra but i got this and like i could keep this out all year round on my stove like this is adorable it's just little heart pattern rags they're just so cute y'all need to not sleep on tj maxx because they have some really cute stuff and this was nine dollars 9.99 so ten dollars i got this table runner mushrooms all over it i told y'all they got a lot of mushrooms this one was 16.99 it's also reversible so this side is like a brown beige type of color and then the other side is white with the same color as the other side it's just like flip and i think i'm gonna put this either on our kitchen table i'll see how that looks or if not that then like the 
table that Kevin makes his coffee at. We'll see. Also, I just love these plants that have the hanging vines, even though they're fake. I cannot take care of plants. They're not real. This one was $12.99, but I'll never get rid of this. Sometimes whenever I look at fake plants and they're like so expensive, but I'm like, this one, I know I'll never get rid of. I just love plants that hang. I also got this, cause like I said, this is kind of like the style that I'm going for. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in our bedroom or in the living room, but it's a moon little like dream catcher, $14.99 and it's huge. And this is probably out for Valentine's day, but I got it for my little entryway table and I'm gonna keep this up all year round. Cause right now the bowl that I have, actually it's like a basket filled with stuff and I don't really like it. So I'm gonna replace it with this tiny minimalist. I'm not a minimal, a minimal. I'm not a minimal, but I can fake it till I make it. So cute. I like how it's just like wood. Y'all can definitely see the like style that I've been leaning towards when it comes to like home decor lately. Oh my God, this is all the glass stuff. Let's hope and pray that nothing is broken. Cause when I came in, I literally threw the stuff on the ground and then I heard something like, it didn't sound like it broke, but it like made a loud sound. I was like, shit, I forgot that I have glass stuff. So hopefully it did not break. Oh my God, please don't tell me you broke. Okay, it didn't. Look at this little cute mushroom lamp. Like I don't even care about the LED, but it does light up. Like that's so cute. This is the little test. That's why it's flickering. Cause the test thing that I'm pressing, it's battery operated, which I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. But even if the batteries die, like this is so cool. Tell me that Target wouldn't have this and charge like $40 for it. And it was $12.99. They had so many of these. They had different colors. I got green cause green's my favorite color, but they literally had so many different colors of this and it didn't break. Okay, I also got this for my bathroom because it's my favorite color green like I just said and this was $6.99 and it's for my toothbrush and toothpaste cute aesthetic aesthetically pleasing and then the last thing that I got aside from that mirror that I mentioned I think this will be good on the entryway table because I like the color combo it's just like a little candle for decor it says matcha but I might be tempted to burn it because it smells so good. Oh my God. But I'm not gonna burn it. I'm gonna use it for decor. And then this candle was, I can't even, okay, $9.99. That's the price you gotta pay for cute aesthetics. This is literally so cute. That is everything that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I would say that this was a very successful TJ Maxx haul. I am like so excited to add rugs to my home, decorate more. Like as you can tell, I've done some different things in my bedroom and I'm not even finished. I want to do something different with this wall over here because it's kind of bland, kind of plain. I've just been looking up inspo on Pinterest and hopefully I can figure something out. I got rid of my like Hello Kitty plushie because I'm a grown woman. I'm getting, I'm becoming an adult. So don't look in that corner because that corner is a mess. I'm very excited to start decorating and changing some things up in my home and getting rid of some of the like more childish decor that I had. I mean, I still have my PC room, which is like all pink. So the childish side of me isn't fully gone. I'm moving on doing different things. Also, I don't know if y'all can see my bedding, but I have like a light colored bedding as well. <laughs> Your girl is growing up. I think it looks so neat and clean compared to like my old dark colored bedding. I know some people would probably say that this is boring, but call me boring. I like it. I still really need to do some cleaning, but 
I just put in this nightstand and I think it's so cute. It goes perfectly with like the vibes of the room. I still have stuff all over the bed and all in that corner and spilled on the floor. But I wanted to try this rug until I get one that like covers my entire floor. I wanna try it in the floor over here because I feel like it fits the vibes of my room. Obviously I'm gonna need to put like a rug pad on it, but I think it looks kind of nice over there, at least for now, but let me know what y'all think. break from work and I came here to get some water. Okay besties, I just got home. I'm gonna have to like donate this jacket or something. Maybe some people can deal with it, but like for me, it's shedding and it's getting all over my shirt. And I was so itchy the entire time wearing it. Anyways, I got a package from, I'm pretty sure this is the one that my friend ordered for me online for Christmas for my Amazon wish list, And I'm like so excited because I have no clue what she got me. I told her I would film my reaction because like, I, I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, I can already tell what this is. Oh my God, this, my girl VMAG, she said that she left me a note and I have to read it, so let's see. She said, from your biggest fan, anyone that says otherwise is lying. But honestly, thank you for your amazing content and lit streams. Here's a little gift from Kendra, AKA DMAC. Oh my God. Literally, I've been wanting one of these for the longest. I can already tell what it is. I am so excited. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look what my girl got me. Y'all, my life is literally a joke. Tell me why I went to show what it was and my memory card decides to be full on space. So I had to open a whole new one. I can't make this stuff up. Like my life is a joke. But oh my it's like Sailor Moon kitties. I thought that this was so cute and I've been needing a freaking mouse pad. Like I bought a temporary one from Walmart, but it was just not giving. Like my whole setup is pink. And this is gonna give with my entire setup. Like it's gonna be so cozy, it's gonna be so cute. But for real though, shout out DMAC. Literally, ever since I started streaming on Twitch, it has literally like changed my life. Oh my God, this fur all on my shirt is not giving, but it's literally changed my life. I've met so many amazing people. Like shout out DMAC, shout out Cutie Pie, shout out Bloogie, shout out Dylan, Choco. I'm probably missing some people. I'm so sorry if I'm missing in your name but like literally shout out all of y'all y'all have like improved my life i love playing games with y'all so fun yesterday me and dmac was playing dvd all day that's my girl like for real i need to go set it up actually and it's probably gonna tempt me to play the game today i think i'm just gonna do some cleaning at home i need to make today a productive day because like i said i was playing the game with dmac all day yesterday today i can't be playing the game all day like maybe a little a little bitty smidge but not the full day also while i'm talking about it and shout out to dmac i also want to mention she just started vlogging on her youtube channel i'm gonna put her youtube on the screen y'all definitely go check her out she's been doing vlogs she shows like mom life just everyday life vlogs um they're really interesting i watch them all so far she has like three videos and i've watched every single one i finished the the third one today so yeah thank you dmac for the package and thank you for being a really good friend hi guys so since i posted this video i got really sick that's why i look like crap right now <laughs> I love that for me, but I'm super behind on editing, but just know y'all have a 2024 cleaning the house and decluttering vlog coming soon. But unfortunately, that's where I'm gonna have to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Please send me your love and hugs and hope I don't get sick anymore. Bye.